Hey guys, from the Soy Sauce Assassin, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, we are reviewing one of the cigars that I received from Eric Smokwan. If you had one from the very beginning, and I waited on smoking it, more like I forgot. So, this is, uh, I believe, Fuente Fuente Don Carlos Edition de Anniversario 2018. Hopefully I got this right because I could be wrong. But based on the look of it, I think that's what it is. <laughs> All right, let's take a close look at the cigar. Um, it is a, based on the size, Toro, six and a quarter by 48. So it's like a thin Toro. Uh, MSRP, I believe what I can find is $36 and a half. So $36.50 each. Uh... Being a Fuente Fuente, I would say this is a Dominican Puro. Dominican Puro. So um, that's what we got to go with. Because I can't find information on it. Okay. All right. So now the cigar itself, right? I know through the close-up video, we didn't we didn't take the wrapper off. So we're going to take that off right now. First, you get this black ribbon. Nothing to scream about. Then we have cedar. Nothing to scream about. I mean, technically, you could let it like this if you want. So you get a little bit more cedar. But I'm not going to do that. It's always like a fire hazard, in my opinion. All right. So this is what we get. All right. The smell is just... Lighter than the cedar spill smell. 30 something dollars. Let's see if we can get to 30 something dollars. Alright. Come on. There you go. Come off. I know you want to come off. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Okay. A very pronounced raisin. That's what it tastes. A very pronounced raisin. Cedar. I think that's how I got. Very pronounced raisin and cedar. Like raisin, raisin. Like raisin brain raisin. Okay. Let's light this up. All right. Surprisingly easy to let. Ooh, okay. Cedar, cedar, raisin, earth, pepper. Oh. Cedar, raisin, earth, pepper.
A little bit of creaminess. Ooh, pepper. 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 Graham cracker. All right. So we kind of get a gist of it. And I also want to mention that this rapper, even though the whole thing is a Dominican Puro, the rapper deserves a little recognition because I just found it. Is Dominican Chateau de la Fuente Sangrón Rosado. It's a mouthful. But does it really matter to a smoker? Probably not. Probably not. So yeah. Let me smoke one third and then we'll talk about this. Be right back. First third went from really earthy to really sweet graham cracker. Smooth, creamy, graham cracker, woodsy, and the tail end, a little bit of pepper. That's what I got from the first third. So it's really good. Really good balanced smoke. There's a little bit of almond notes hiding behind that graham cracker. And I'll say that because of that little bit of raisiny sourness, it brings out the flavor a little bit more. First stir, very, very good. Very good, smooth. Um, you just had to watch out for that beginning pepper. Beginning pepper. All right, so that's first stir. We'll go to the second stir. Be right back. And we're at the end of second stir. I don't know why it's so sharp. <laughs> Cap it off. There we go. So, um, you know, second, third. It's still sweet. It's still good. It's still great. The flavor is still the same, but mellowed out. So, think of that first third I just described to you, but at 80 or maybe 70% of the flavor. That's what I get. Still smooth, though. Still nice. Um, if you're drinking something like a coffee, bourbon, uh, tea or something, that might help it. But I think if you're not drinking anything, it might feel like it's underwhelming by some extent. Okay, by some extent. So I, I think this is a, a minus point kind of thing uh, because I would like to enjoy at least the the sweet spot, the, the good spot, the middle part to be the strongest point, but it was actually lighter. Yeah, it's lighter. But sweet though. Still pretty good. The band come down pretty easily. Let's take a look at the band. As usual. Gonna flatten out a little bit for you guys. First, we have the 2018 Don Carlos band. There's a really fine line on there. It says, A tribute to my hero, Carlos Arturo Fuente. On this one. 2018, that means 2017, 2016, 2019. They might have... Like, this is one of those things that they release X amount every year. So, even after this review, you should be able to find a different year. And then we have the main band. It's basically a souped up version of like a A Fuente band, Don Carlos. It's just like, boom, add a little bottom here. Color should be a bigger full band. It looks pretty good though. It looks aggressive. I, I like that. I like that. Addition the Anniversario. Yep. Pretty cool. Pretty good stuff. Now, last third. Honestly, I don't think I can get to that $35 range, but then again, $35 might not be the actual MSRP. It might be the $300 range. It like, you know, it's one of those things that it's hard to find an MSRP for this. And even if you go out and find any Fuentes, Opus X and stuff like that, most likely very hard to find an MSRP. But 
even that, I don't think it's at thirty dollar. I don't think it's at thirty dollar. Okay, so let's finish this up and we'll give it a score or well, a price and what I think about the last third. Be right back. All right, all right, last third. Uh, it died. <laughs> uh, the flavor probably dropped by more than half. It's probably at ten percent, twenty percent of its flavor profile at compared to the first one, the first third. So, yeah, last third wasn't that enjoyable. Like you know, like I literally can stop smoking; it won't do anything. A little bit of woodsiness here and there. That's pretty much it. So, with that being said. It's a cigar that gradually lose flavor over time, which is, I think, is bad. I think it's horrible uh, in terms of uh, enjoyment. Now, given that it's still a good cigar, but not as good as, I, I don't know, if you think about like uh, like Alma Forte or something like that. Alma Forte is at $18. This thing should be somewhere $14 to $15. $14 to $15. That might sound really harsh. But really, this thing is just a Dominican Imperial. It's just woodsy. But and the way they arrange the tobacco, it just gets worse and worse and worse. It's really not exciting cigar. It tastes good in the beginning. I was excited, and then blah, blah, blah. it's 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 not a good way to make a cigar finish well. Right? It doesn't finish well. So, and then I think about like you know, okay, experience of smoking other cigars at the eighteen dollar range. I find plenty of $18 range beats this one. Easy. Right? So I'm going to drop it down. And then continue to drop down. Now in the $14, $15 range. So yeah. That's the price range I'll give it. $14 to $15 range. Now, should you still seek it out? If you want to try one, yeah. If you want to collect it, yeah. But if you just go like, you know what? I want to choose the $30 worth of cigar to smoke. What a bad idea. I mean, this cigar is one of those like, I will smoke it. For the sake of smoking it. That's pretty much it. I will smoke it for the sake of smoking it. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. So, with that being said, $14 it is. Sorry. Sorry, Eric. I know you spent 30 something dollars to buy this, but it's about $14 in turn of uh, enjoyment. Okay? So, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, talk about what you think. Tell me that I'm, I'm totally wrong. This cigar is great or something like that. All right. And make sure to uh, listen to our podcast, join our membership. We got Patreons. We got swag. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.